Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio K Zero P I R my YouTube channel. Got the Icon seventy six ten and just doing a follow up video on an article that I did on my website www.k0pir.us. Okay, I'm just going to go over a few things with the Spectrum Scope and the differences between it and the 7300. It's just a few differences. Of course, we have the second receiver, so we have two Spectrum Scopes we can display at the same time. And, of course, we've got a, a couple of different options, and that would be the RBW and VD, VBW, Resolution Bandwidth and Video Bandwidth. Let's take a look at the markers first. Uh, the main is shown right now. It's indicated by M up there in the title of the spectrum scope. It's also indicated with a red line. I can change the marker. I've got the main. I can show the main and the sub. I can touch the marker again and we'll go to transmit and main. That's indicated by the red and yellow line. And of course all three of them, the sub, the transmit, and the main. And you'll see the icons change up here. I've got the speed set to fast right now, and that's indicated by the three triangles. Let's take a look at what it looks like set to mid. That's usually what I have it set to. And then there's slow and that changes to one triangle. Let's go back to fast. Okay, and two new things on the 7610 from the 7300 are the RBW, VBW, resolution bandwidth, video bandwidth. Okay, let's look at the resolution bandwidth and right now I'm set to narrow you'll see the icon up here change the little line underneath RBW changes in length you will also notice the spectrum scope change right now I'm on narrow touch it and go to wide and that's just changing the resolution I'll put a link below that gives a full description of these in the manual I'm at mid and that's usually what I have it set to and then go to narrow now VBW is the video bandwidth and it changes between narrow and wide right now we're set on narrow and we can go to wide I usually have it set to narrow. And there's another difference between the 7610 and the 7300. Of course we have the, the second receiver. So we can display two spectrum scopes. If I just touch the dual, we get them both. I can change the settings individually on each one of them with the exception of the reference. When I change the reference, it will change both of those. Okay, so that's it. Just a short video. Please uh, hit the subscribe button below and visit my website, k0pir.us. I'll have more articles on the 7300 and the 7610. Thanks for watching, 73 and good DX.